Hey guys, so this is a very important YouTube video and you can probably tell by the big smile on my face that I am very happy with the way things turned out at the men's Olympic um, long program. And um, so basically I'm just going to talk about a little bit what I thought and um, I have to say this has been probably the most nerve-wracking figure skating competition I have ever witnessed, honestly, and I have pretty pr been pretty much holding my breath for about seven days straight, and finally I feel like I can relax because it's all over. And um, I think it's, I mean, it was an incredible competition because we, we, the field was just so deep and there were so many great talents, and I think any of maybe the top uh, seven or maybe even top ten men could have easily have been medal contenders. So in the shore program, it was all about kind of eliminating who wasn't going to be a contender and who was. And, you know, the long program, we saw a lot of really triumphant moments and we saw a lot of meltdowns, but it did really set the stage for what was to come for the long program. And um, so I'm going to start and talk about Daisuke Takahashi, who I think is a wonderful, wonderful skater. I think of all of them, he may be the most talented overall. I think he's got pretty much the whole package minus the spins. I think he really needs to work on his spins, but his ability on the ice, I think he, he's wonderful. He's got wonderful jumps and his footwork is absolutely dazzling. And I think from his long program, I think that that was maybe the highlight of all the programs I saw. I mean, his final footwork section, I think he gave more passion and fire on that one step than I've ever seen him do all season. And I think of the top three men, his long program is by far the most intelligently built. And I think it is just the most beautiful to look at. It's very, I've said this before, but I'll say it again. It's very witty and very sophisticated. And I just love it. I mean, he, it's very intricate. There's a lot of details in the choreography, which I really do appreciate. Um, but what lost it for him was the fact that he attempted the quad and did not do it. His quad toe loop. You know, you can't, I mean, if you do a quad, that's great. You deserve lots of points for it. But if you don't do it, you're severely penalized. And that's how the scoring system works. So right then I knew that he was no longer going to get gold medal. And, you know, but I mean, it, I don't think it really matters because I enjoyed his program a lot. And I think it was a huge comeback for him to be able to skate as well as he did uh, because of his injury. And I still think that he is wonderful, and I hope that I hope to see more of him. And I'm very proud of him for getting that bronze medal. I think he's right where he needed to be. And so, yes. Uh, now I'm going to talk about Plushenko, who has been a bit controversial uh, since the game started. Um, you know, obviously, I, I've been watching him for years. He's been around for a long, long time as a skater. And he's been pretty much unbeatable. So... When I found out that he was going to come back for the Olympics, I really, I thought, well, that's it. He's going to win gold. I don't even know why the rest of the guys will try. That's honestly what I thought. Just because, you know, I had, you know, I remembered Torino and how he just completely just, I mean, he took that gold and no one else even came close. I mean, he his point total was absolutely massive. And so I thought, well, there's no way anyone can beat him. He's just so solid in his jumping. I mean, you know, his jumping is kind of unstable in the air. He's he's tilting and all this stuff and you never are sure if he can land it, but he always does. And that is an extremely, uh, it's an incredible talent that he has. So, I mean, you know, I honestly did not think that he would walk away with silver and I was really shocked to see that. Um, but to be honest, I was kind of happy about it. I think that well, let me tell you that, you know, the first thing that comes to my mind when I think about Plushenko is that he is a powerhouse skater. He completely just crashes and burns. He just goes through his program. He has a lot of intensity. Uh, his, I think his overall skating presence, whenever he does his footwork, you know, he doesn't have the same flow, you know, out of his edges and I mean, just doesn't have the same flow in his footwork as a lot of the other men do. And also his spins need a lot of work. I think that those, that's kind of a weak spot for him. But he places all his emphasis on the jumps. But that being said, even though his programs don't have the same depth of artistry, there is something so incredible about Plushenko, the way he performs. You know, uh, 
he just, I mean, you just can't take your eyes off of him ever. I mean, he has such a, char a charisma and confidence and his presence is just so dynamic on the ice that you do, he just commands your attention. And he forces you to just look at him and just go on his um, journey. And, but, you know, honestly, I kind of am a little bit sad that he didn't take advantage of the scoring system and use more artistry because back when Alexei Yagudin was competing, he really had to be on top of his game. He had to have the artistry and the jumps. But ever since then, he's felt unchallenged. And because of that, he's kind of just blown off the artistic mark. And that may have worked for him in the past, but it didn't work this time, obviously. And, you know, he's had a bit of a cocky attitude at these games, been a little bit uh, controversial, especially for what he's said to the media, saying things like, well, if you don't have a quad jump, you're not a man. And, you know, if you don't have a quad jump, you don't deserve to be an Olympic champion. But I think that these games have been the perfect proof that you don't just need a quad. I mean, if you have a quad and you have the artistry and the spins, you should win, no doubt about it. But if you base your entire program just on the quad, I think that there's something kind of wrong with that. I think that that's not a whole program to me. And, you know, I looked at his quad toe loop and he did it and I thought, wow, he did a quad toe, triple toe. And I thought, wow, that's amazing. But, you know, you look at it and it really doesn't, he doesn't have many transitions into the jumps to make it difficult. And just the rest of his program, I mean, he does have a wonderful um sense of theatricality, I think, but at the same time, he just doesn't have the same quality as some of the other men do. So I, I'm really happy that he won silver because yes, he, I think he is maybe the best skater, I think there definitely, but you know, I think it's kind of a wake up call for him that you have to have more than just jumps. And Brian Joubert had the same wake up call last year at the world championships. And for me personally, that's a really big deal because I think artistry, should count for more because I know this is a sport, but really we go to see skating for the beauty of it. And the audience wants to be lifted um, and wants to be inspired and you can't get that same effect with jumps. So I'm glad that they've been able to pay attention to the overall package for once. And that's why Evan Lysacek won, who, you know, I'm so happy for him. I'm so glad that he won. Um, you know, I have been watching him for a long time, and if you had told me maybe two years ago that Evan was going to win gold, I would have said, yeah, right, I don't see that happening at all. But he did, and the reason he won is because he did it through perseverance, determination, hard work, all those things that are labeled cliches. They're just so true, and this, I think this performance that he gave is proof. I mean, look how well-trained he was and, you know, I had no doubt he was going to, you know, that he was, I was pretty sure that he would do a clean program because he is so well trained, but I didn't know if he could win gold. But I think of all the men there, I think he was the most deserving because he worked so hard. And I just think it's wonderful when you see people who really, I mean, he may not be the most talented skater. He may not have the, you know, the artistry of Stefan Lambiel or Daisuke Takahashi or the jumping power of Plushenko, but the fact that he had the overall package, beautiful spins, excellent footwork, excellent jumps, that's what sealed the deal for him. And it proved that miracles happen and that hard work really is important in life. And I think that's just a wonderful kind of message. And you know, when I was watching him, it was not a comfortable performance. You could see him working through each element, making sure that he skated clean and he had to skate clean if he wanted to win. Uh, he had wonderful jumps, wonderful triple-triple. The one thing that I always worry about, and I think a lot of people worry about, is his triple axle jump because he's so tall, and when you have that forward edge takeoff, I just always worry about him because he never gets the height that some of the other men do, and he looked a little bit kind of tentative on the landing on one of them. But other than that, I think he really did have wonderful flow out of his edges. You know, he had flow that Plushenko didn't have um, with his when he landed his jumps. So I think that kind of sealed the deal for him, as I said. And I am so happy for him because I feel like I've been on, I feel like as a skating fan, I've been with him on this journey, watching him for four years and watching him go from kind of just, eh, you know, an okay skater to a, you got to take note of the skater to, wow, this game may be a contender to, he's a gold medalist. And I think it's just wonderful that he won. And I am just so happy 
for him and for America. And it's just a great moment. So yeah, that's what I have to say. So see you guys later.